Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Concan Coast Pirate Solutions. Not the most catchiest name I've ever heard, but designed by a solo dev, this is a very cool little boat themed puzzle game. So essentially we have little boards like this. You can see there's land, there's sea, there's boats. And down here in these drawers, we have commands that we can place down. So on this one, if we take the turn right command, we can see this boat will go along here so we can shove a turn right there. We come down this side and press play and you'll see as the boat moves, it gets to the turn right, turns right, goes straight ahead. And to the anchor point, seems simple, right? Well, if we go to the next level, so on this one, we have a boat with like a sort of goldy colored thing. And basically, they've got to go through these. I think they, they are either dropping off something or picking up something. Uh, we, can, we can assume they're gold coins, I guess. And basically, for these ships, you've got to go through that, but then escape off the edge of the map. So as you watch this, you'll see it goes through that and then it drops its yellow stuff and then heads off the end of the map. Great success. Nice one, Matt. So if we head to resource utilization, this is where you got to use your think box a little bit more. So if we shove a turn right there and then a turn left there. So because this is a hexagon and we know hexagons are the best guns, basically when this ship goes through there, it, it picks it up. So it does turn right, but it also picks up another right hand turn. So when it goes through this one, it will drop that one where it picks it up, if that makes sense. Let's just press play. You'll see what happens. So you can see above its head, it's got that hexagon now, and then it's dropped it down there. So that is that scenario complete. We'll go on to the next one, extra baggage. So again, in the right hand turn on this one, you see that's a hexagon, which means it can be swapped out. So if we shove that there, and then these right hand turns, we don't just place them anywhere. We can actually place them on boats. So essentially, as this black boat comes down, as it gets there, it will turn right, but then it will drop the turn left which should mean the ship behind it goes left. So that goes in, goes that way, drops that behind. You go that way, straight off the edge of the map. Whoa. Now, I'm not going to lie, that took a long time to figure out. Game literally doesn't tell you anything. It's part of the beauty of it, actually. So each time a level adds a new sort of mechanic, you won't actually be told how it works. You've got to try and figure it out. So the mechanic we're adding this time is on the level Buddies. Um, basically, it just means if a ship sees another ship, it will follow it. So if we watch this one, it comes down, it sees that boat, and then it just follows it exactly where it's going. And then for this level, you've got to use that mechanic, but it sort of teaches you they don't just have to be the same colored boats. Any colored boats can follow any other colors. Uh, so essentially, if I don't use my right or left turns, if we just press play, you'll see, oh, look, it sees the black boat and then it follows it, but it follows it to its death. So if we restart, I think we just want to shove a left hand turn there and then a right one there. And then I think this boat picks up that disc. I don't know if it's got anything to do with the hexagons. Honestly, it's still trying to work them out. So let's see actually what happens. So it goes through there. Does it pick up? Okay, so I think it just picks up the command. Ignore the hexagon advice. I didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, final level of this set of stuff. Stoppage. Uh, so we have the final draw unlocked, stop here. So we know if we make him stop there, this boat will come past and then he'll see it and just follow it. So there we go, a stop there, that boat comes past. It's like, oh, a nice boat, let's follow that one. So that's all of these levels completed. Let's go on to the next set of levels. They're called applications. All right, so now we have access to all the different commands for every level, I think, maybe. Uh, so I think what we probably want to do, if we make you stop there... You turn right, and then you're leading. That one will follow. And then a left there means you'll drop your right, and that should work out fine. So, yep, you're being followed by the black boat now. You go left, drop the right. Oh, nice. Okay, I think I've got the hang of it now. Okay, so what we got here? We've got a big blob of land in the background that we need to ignore. And then we've got that. So I know this boat is going to follow that one. I assume black boats can go through the gold without any issues, uh, which probably means I can just put a left turn there. My only concern is, will that boat go that way and then this one follows it and then crashes into the back of it when it stops? Let's see what happens. So it's being followed. It's gone through the gold, but it's still following. And yeah, look, it's stuck. It's stuck. So let's go back and see how we can make this a bit better. So if I do the left turn there and add a right turn to that boat, I think when that passes through there, it will turn right. Oh, no, 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 no. If I put the right hand turn on that one, then it drops it when it goes through. Oh, yes, Matt, you remember this. So as that goes through that one, it drops the right hand turn. Okay, got it. See, it's very rewarding trying to learn how the mechanics work in this game. Oh, my goodness, that's a lot of boats. So I know I'm going to have to get a conga line of boats somehow. If I just press play and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if we put a stop there, 
And that's sort of okay for the back, but death at the front. I feel like, though, actually, actually, if I move this stop up to that way and then put a left turn there, then... Oh, I still need to sort out the front ones. What if I... De oh, man, I'm so confused. There's so much going on already. Okay, I'll tell you what. I think we need to do this in stage. We have this step thing here, so we can step forward and backwards. Let's just try and start the front. If we can do the first ones. So you stop. Then you go... Okay, the ones behind die. Oh, but, but, if we make that a left turn, then you should bump into that one. So now he can see him who has stopped for that one. So if we go ahead again. So yeah, that's confirmed. You can see that. You've confirmed to see that. So if we do that, okay, I think they're going to crash or are you going to wait? He might, he's thinking. He's not sure what he's thinking. Just, just three squares. Yes, it means he waited. Okay, we've got a conga line, which means we can put a right hand turn there. Okay, sorted. Oh man, that was quite rewarding. So we'll press play. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it works. It works. I feel like using the step method is how you want to do this. So we've got two left turns, one right turn, and we have three boats in a conga line. And it looks like we sort of, we need to turn right more than left, annoyingly. So to start with, let's just see what happens if we turn right there and then left there. I assume they all go through that one, right? So they're going that way, they're going that way, yep. Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot. I forgot this front one, it picks up the first, the first command. So it's got that there, so then as it goes to there, it then drops that one. So I think what I need to do, yeah, what I need to do, if I shove that left turn on the black boat, then as that, so as the black boat gets there, it should drop the left, so that one can go there. Okay, cool, cool, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So we've got two left turns, two right turns. This level's called synced, so I assume we've just got to, sync them to get well not sync them literally because uh that's the last thing you want to do so if we put a left hand turn in there then i assume yeah you'll see that boat and then you'll follow it okay so that's good so they'll be down this arm so i think i probably want i probably want a left turn somewhere i can't actually put them on these anchors if it's worth noting so if we shove a left there as well so they both go that way I can put a right one on there so it drops it behind and then a right there. Does that make sense? So essentially if I press play they should do that. Yeah. Okay that worked. So this level we're back to just having one of each icon. Now if we press play they will crash into each other because they didn't have time to see each other. So that's probably where I need to use a stop on one of these. Probably doesn't matter which one. Yeah, and then I'm thinking I can make you turn yeah, I can make you turn left, but then shove a right on you. So as you turn left, you'll drop the right for this guy who's now following you. So left, drop the right. Yeah, decent. Decent. So on the roadmap over here, we've actually been given access to even more applications. Uh, but for now, let's just carry on with what we've got. We've got the bus depot to complete. Oh no, look how many ships are down there. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, all we've got is right hand to Man, I think to start with, I've just got to... I'm just running the simulation very slowly to see if anyone crash... Oh, no one actually crashes. Okay, so we have a bit of a conga line going on. I can see at that point we're going to need a left hand turn and then another one. But we've only got right hand turns. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so we've got to try and find a point where we can use the right hand turn. we just got to find... It's basically, we're trying to find the head of the snake. So I reckon... Yeah, okay. We'll try, we'll try the right hand turn... Was it there? So then as we go through, the head of the snake comes up there. So we need another right hand turn there. Like that. And then I feel like the last one will probably go down there. Sod it. Let's just press play and see if it works. I think this is a level that looks way more complicated than it actually is. Because they're all going to follow each other. And yeah, it works out just about. <laughs> oh, that level terrified me at the start. But uh, let's speed that up. Lovely. Right, okay, for this one, I think left turn has probably got to go there, right? So that's that boat sorted. We then just need to get this up to there. And I'm not sure how I can actually do that, if I'm honest. I mean, if I were to stop that, I don't think this boat will ever see that. We'll press play, but yeah, it just sails straight past. It's got to be, it's got to be ahead visually. So what else can we do? We can make this one go left there. So it comes this side of the island. And then, oh yeah, then we can use a stop there so it waits for this boat to come past. Then it will follow it. Wait, but then, then we've only got a right turn remaining. Where does the right turn go? Uh, let's, oh no, no, because as that boat goes through there, it will pick up the blue. I always forget they pick up the things, don't they? So that's picked up a left turn. So if I just put that there, it will drop its left turn there. 
Okay, so watch this one. As it comes up, it picks up. So you can see above its head, it's got the left turn. So as it goes through there, it drops it for the black ship. Okay, got it. So two right turns and a stop. I mean, it's annoying I don't have three right turns because I could just do that and it would, with another one there, that would work perfectly. That would be far too easy though. However, what if we were to come up to there, do that and shove a stop there? Because you're going to pick up the right turn, I think. Which means as you go through that one, you should drop another right turn for this boat. Have I thought this three right? So you're waiting there. You go up. You've picked up the right turn. And then you drop it there for that boat. Oh, yes. I'm getting the hang of this game finally. So the final level, we've got two lefts, two rights. And we've got those boats. Oh, man. Okay, they've got a... It's called Corner Pocket. Which I'm guessing it's snooker reference. So we've got to, we've got to use this behind somehow. Now, I feel like the only way I can get these to follow each other is by doing a left there. Because then you see that boat. So then you both go like that. Ah, oh, so I just put two rights there. Oh, am I actually a genius? I think I'm actually a genius. Oh, no, because the, the left one has to escape. The left one's... Yeah, the left one's stuck. Yeah, but that's where this left-hand turn comes in handy. Because if I shove that on that boat, then when we play, it will drop the left there. So you go off the edge of the map. Oh... Nice. Okay, so do we go on to the star or do we go on to... Oh, drifts and currents. Not going to like. Kind of want to see how they're going to add to the game. So, oh, look. I think if they enter that, they'll drift all the way along. Yeah. Oh, I've only got one right turn. Let's just see what actually happens. So if I put a right in there, it goes in. It just drifts one. Okay. So just shove that there and that should work fine. So I guess that just acts as like a one move tile. So as we enter it there, it drifts the one way and then carries on. Sweet. Um, I don't actually know what happens if I put one of these in a current. I assume that just works. Oh no, it moves. It moves. Right, we've got to work out how to do... Okay, I'll try like one ahead. Okay, somehow that worked. Okay, so the boat always goes and then the currents attack. So boat goes, current happens. So the next time the boat goes... Then the currents happen. Okay, got it, got it. So how can we apply what we've learnt with our currents? So we got two right turns for this one. If we shove a right turn on you, then you should go up there. And then you go that way, that way, that way, and then straight ahead. So I think that's fine. So then do I just do similar for this one? I think I literally do that. I've like mirrored it. So as you watch these, they turn right and then they just... Whoa! <laughs> That was satisfying. Okay, so that's cool. That's that level completed. Let's try turbulent waters. So we've only got a left and right turn. We've got, oh yeah, so these two arrows, they're pointing away. So presumably if I put a left there, will we not be able to get up that? No, we can't get up. We can't get up. Uh, I'm trying to, the only thing I can think about is I know I move before the current moves. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, if I go there and then there, then we'll turn left, we'll turn right. We'll be facing we'll be facing this. So we go into there and then remember the current moves us, but then we move before that current moves. So if we press play, we go that way, we turn right. So we enter, then yeah, okay, that's how we get in. So oh man, this looks confusing. So if we just press play, yeah, they're just both trapped. Okay. So I can put a left there. And then what does that do? So it makes them point left, which means next time they're going that way. Which means after that, they crash <laughs> in a bad way. Currents are dangerous. Oh, I'll tell you what though. I think if I do left, left there, and then a right there, does that work? Because they both point that direction. Oh no, that's death. Yeah, because then you're going to... Okay, is, uh, is that right? So then you're pointing that way. So then you follow. Yes, we did it. We did it. Okay, this one's called J-Spin. Is that like an actual boat maneuver? Don't know. We've got one little bit of current there. Oh, is it? It's going to like make a J-shape, isn't it? So if we do right-hand turn there, then you're still facing forwards. So if we do right-hand turn there, then you pick up the previous one. And then I think, I think this might work. So let's just follow it slowly. So you go that way, you go that way, and you go back into it, and then you're that way. It's a J. We did a J-Spin. And then this one, we got three left turns because we are cornered. So presumably, I want to do that. I could even put that on my head and then shove another one there. Does that work? I feel like I've cheesed this a bit. No, it worked. It worked. 
I can't quite explain what I did, but I knew it would work, if that makes sense. So now we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, we have right turns for days. So we might be able to use a similar technique. So if we put a right there, that should go into us. And then if we swap that with a right, then is that all we need? Oh no, death, death into the side. Okay, that's perhaps where we use the left turn then. Yeah, because this one, I think we'll, we'll go that way. So if we just do a right there and then a right there, then we should end up back in the current going that way. So ready? There, 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 there. Nice. <laughs> I think that made sense. I think it did to me. I'm not sure. I may have just fluked it. Right, so we've got more levels to play in this world, but I want to go into the next one to see what else this game has for us. So, oh, lighthouses. Okay. So let's just see if we go to the lighthouse. Oh, it makes us turn around. Oh, that's cool. So we put a right turn behind us, and then jobs are good, and right? Yep, yeah, turn around. Go that way. Go that way. Up there. Anchor sorted. So this one's called Glacial. Oh, look, there's a... Oh, does it melt? I think it melts. It's got 15 on. Is that 15 moves? So if we make this go really far, by the time we get to it, it melts. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool little me mechanism. Yeah, look, it gets smaller. Then it's gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, fair play. This is wicked, this game. Loving this. All right, so, oh, look, we've got, a, we've got three gold coins. So we've got to drop them all off or pick them all up. So that's quite a cool mechanic in itself. Surprised it took that long to get to this point of the game, though. But uh, there it goes. We leave the map. That simulation successful. Let's apply them. So we got a lighthouse. So I assume if we just go right and then drop a left on our head. So we do that. We go back. We go into there. Decent. Right, we're speedrunning these now. We have a one of those. <laughs> I can remember what they're called. An iceberg. An iceberg. There wasn't a long pause there. If there's a long pause, the editor put that in. Definitely wasn't me. Um, so I'm thinking if I go left, then right, and then shove a left on my head. Does that work? Or do I need to... I may, I may need to do a different order, but I think that's what I want to do. So I... No, that worked. That worked. All right. Come on, brain. We got a speed run. Quicker. Quicker. Okay. So we go... We go... If we do that, because that will make us go... Oh, no. I just go the wrong way. I think I meant just move one down like that. Okay, so that goes in. You go that way. Then we hit the lighthouse. Turn around. Balls. What if we What if we do that, though? Just completely ignore the currents. Because then we go up to... The, yeah, the currents were a distraction. That's cheeky. Oh, no, they weren't. They weren't. We failed. <laughs> okay, I think I picked the wrong level to speed run. What else can we try? We know we end up there. So if we left that way, then we'll go to that. Come back. Oh, yeah. If that's, if that's a right-hand turn on our head... That's how we do it. Ready? So up to there. Turn around. Onto that way. Current takes us there. Oh, I think we can still count this as a speed run, right? Um, I need to press play to actually see what happens here. Ah, oh, so they all end up in a line. So how can we use our left turns to get a conga going? I mean, I might just gamble and see what happens if I do like that. So that oh, it's working. It's working. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Go back, go back. So right hand turn there. Sorted. Okay, I think I definitely winged that. Like, even more so than I did my engineering exams. But we're done. Sweet. We're on to a tale of two shippers. Uh, so we've sort of got two different puzzles to solve. We've only got one right-hand turn. I'm like, what the frig? How am I meant to do this? Oh, I know. Perhaps if I right-hand turn that way. Yeah, because then it comes back. Okay, so that's that one sorted. All right, quick, Matt. You're meant to be speed running. So if you just look there... So then you look at that one and then you follow it. That one's already been followed. Oh, okay, that's good. This one, oh, two coins. So it's got to pass through that twice. Uh, so what I'm thinking, we do stop there. So you at least come to there. Oh, no, actually, actually, I'm going to do that way. because I'm going to do left-hand turn there and then right-hand turn there. Because I think it should have the two. No, it won't have the two coins. It'll only have one. I don't know. Let's press play. Come on, speed run. Come on, speed run. <laughs> It's not going to work. I can tell it's not going to work. It's going to leave. We need an extra coin. Okay, well, I still feel like that's right. Maybe if I just move that to, like, there. And then, oh, no, yeah. If I put the right-hand turn there, then it will drop the left-hand turn. Yeah, quick. Press space. Right, okay. Speed running again. Speed running. So, right. You go left. Decent. And our reward is another draw. The blank draw. So, what the hell does a blank draw? Oh, does it just wipe whatever it has? Yeah, I think... Okay, so I think you put that in. So that goes through there. It picks up the right-hand turn, remember? And then it goes through there, which is a blank. Which means it drops its right-hand turn on that. Let's just see. 
if I was right. I was right. I was right. Okay, that's good. So this one, we have a current there. Is that just to distract me? I am distracted, definitely. No, no, it isn't. Because if we stop there, we can put the blank up there. Because then it gives time for those boats to go past. And then that flies into that. Okay, sorted. Okay, so this time we've got two blanks. It's blankety blank. Was that a song? I think that was a song. Maybe it was a TV show. It's probably a British TV show and no one understood that reference. Anyway, we got two blanks. Uh, why do we... What? Why do we want two blanks? How's that going to allow us... Oh, it doesn't allow us to turn. It allows us to cross paths. So if I blank... Yes, yeah, so what if I... Okay, what if I double blank? Because what I'm thinking... That goes in. That goes to there. Are you going to pick up the blank to lose your... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so if you pick up a blank, you don't even follow ships. Got it. But I think for now, that's enough playing with ships. So I'm going to say peace, love, and catchy game names. Bye, guys!